Hi guys, Luna here and welcome back to another Hogwarts Legacy Guide video and in this one I'm teaching you how to catch and breed all 12 unique species of animal in game. This will give you the nature of the beast achievement or trophy and it's also a great way to make some quick money and get some useful ingredients. So let's start. First then, you must play through the game until you reach the room of requirement and then you must start doing tasks for Deke. I'm not sure what the time requirements are for these to start showing up, but every time you're in the room of requirement, keep speaking with him, and eventually you will get a quest called the Plight of the House Elf, and once you complete that one and you leave the area and come back, Deke will ask you about breeding animals in a quest called Full of the Dead. However, one thing to note is I'm near the end of the main missions before I started doing this quest, but I have heard some say that you need to be progress through the story until it's winter at Hogwarts before you can get this quest, but I'm not sure if that is true. But keep doing the deep quests and you will eventually get the one about breeding animals. During this quest, you are asked to catch two Thestrals, male and female, and to breed them, and you have to get the breeding station from the Tomes and Scrolls in Hogsmeade. Once you've done that, and you've returned to Deke, and you can start breeding your animals. Conjure the breeding station, release the two animals, and then interact with the breeding station to start breeding, and it should take around 30 minutes for each animal. And if you want to do what I've done, I've set up 12 different breeding stations in the different areas in order to have one for each type. So that way you can breed all 12 animals at once. Okay, so that is the straightforward part about getting and breeding the animals to begin with. But what about collecting all the animals? Well, here is how to find all 12. And remember, you're going to need to do some of these multiple times if a male and female don't spawn at once. And some of the bigger animals, like the unicorn, will only spawn one animal at a time, so you're going to have to leave the area and return in order to get both. Another thing to mention is that your mounts will count as breeding animals. So you can check what gender they are, and you will only need to catch one of these. So the hippogriff and the graphorn, if you've progressed far enough in the story, you will have both of those, so you will only need to catch one for your vivarium. But don't worry, being in the vivarium will not stop them from being summonable as mount. Lastly, the final animal to catch is the Graphorn, and it won't spawn until you fight the Graphorn during the main mission, Sandbacar's Trial, which is quite near the end of the game. Okay, so we're going to start with the Unicorn, and it's only located in one area of the entire map, and that is the Forbidden Forest. And because of that, I've chose other animal spawn locations that are pretty close to this one, if available. You right. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Come out before I find <laughs> Love you, sir. <laughs> Professor Howard will never believe me. Where did I set my traps? Was it Lower Hogsfield or Upper Hogsfield? Show yourself. You've no where to hide Let me now. Go. Leviosa! Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. I'll look after you.
าสาวมึงนะทุกเลบิอสโซ่เซตุลยูเซลฟ Lastly, guys, once you've bred your animals, you can get the final mission for Deke, which is to find the phoenix, and you simply need to follow his quest to get this phoenix animal for your vivarium. Guys, that's it for this video, how to breed the animals, and more importantly, the location of all 12 in-game. If you found this video helpful, like and subscribe for more Hogwarts content, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.